Happy Palm Sunday, everyone. Uh, my name is Stacy Aiding. I am a youth minister with Encounter Youth Ministry, working in both St. Rose of Lima and St. Michael Parishes in Schoenberg and Weimar. And I'm really excited to be with you guys today to talk with you a little bit about prayer as part of our Winging It With Jack Turtle Wing campaign to just stay connected um, during the month of April. So um, I'd like to just talk a little bit about what prayer is. Prayer, first and foremost, is um, a relationship. It's a relationship between us and God the Father. And in any good relationship, we do a great amount of talking and hopefully um, a great amount of listening. So when we approach God the Father in prayer, it's important to remember um, not only what we have to say to him, but to be very still and quiet and to listen to what he has to say to us. Um, another great thing to remember about prayer is that um, it is a way for us to just be still. It's a way for us to retreat to that silent place and to sit with God. Um, when we pray, we bring ourselves into the presence of God who's with us all the time, right? We're not summoning God to come down to where we are in that moment so that we can have a conversation. We're bringing ourselves to where he is, which is with us all the time. So anytime we pray, it's important to remember that we're entering into a back and forth relationship and that we're bringing ourselves into the presence of God who's with us, always with us in all moments. When we reach out to pray to God, um, there are four kinds of prayer that I want you to think about and remember. First is a prayer of adoration. This is where we give God glory, praise, honor, and all the compliments. Um, this is where we just simply sit in awe of how amazing he is and what he's done for us. And it's always important to start off in a place of adoration, in a place of recognizing who we are in the presence of. The second kind of prayer that I want to talk to you about is a prayer of contrition. And this is sort of the, I'm sorry, right? This is the, I haven't done the things that I maybe should have or could have or the ways that I've fallen short, right? This is where we recognize that God is so good and wonderful and awesome like we did in adoration. And then we say, you know what, Lord? And I'm not, I'm only good within my relationship with you. I'm good in the manner at which you make me good as I'm created in your image and likeness, right? We are good, right? But we fall short in our humanness. So we want to adore God and tell him how wonderful we are. And then we want to pray from contrition. Where have we fallen short? Where have we failed to recognize our goodness um, by not loving him, serving him, honoring him, right? So adoration, contrition, um, and then we want to always focus on petition, right? So this is the easy one. This is the one where um, we say, here's what I need, Lord, right? These are the things that I need from you. This is the, the stuff that's easy for us to come to in prayer. Like, God, please help us during this time um, of trial, of sickness. Please heal our land. Petition are those things that are easy to ask for. Maybe you're offering a prayer of petition for someone else or you're offering, um, you're asking Lord to intercede on your behalf, right? So petitions for others, petitions for you. Um, and then thanksgiving, right? We have to be thankful to God. We have to be grateful, right? God wants to hear us recognizing the many ways that he has blessed us. Um, even in the middle of trials and struggles and difficulties and hardships, it's important for us to recognize the ways that God is blessing us. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it can be really difficult to find the things to be thankful for, but they're there. They're there and we have to look for them and we have to be intentional with our gratitude. And when we're grateful and thankful, that helps to combat any fear, anxiety, worry, um, or anything that we're struggling with right? So when we come to God and we adore him, right? We put things in the proper order. We put him at the top. We recognize that he is the source of all of our strength. He is the source of all goodness. Um, when we come to him with a contrite heart, we recognize that we're sinners and that we need our Lord. We need our savior. We need Jesus, right? 
Um, we don't come in to him in relationship and prayer because we're perfect. We come because we need a savior. And then we want to bring to him the things we need, bring to him the people that we need, bring to him um, whatever's on our heart. And then to be grateful, to thank him for the many ways that he's blessed us, to thank him for all the things that he's done in our lives. So I'd like to pray with you now, putting all of those things together, um, remembering in a special way Jack Cooper, who um, goes before us, right? That we pray that he sits in the presence of our Lord and intercedes on our behalf. And so we're going to pray um, to God with all the saints in heaven. And I'd just like to lead you now, if you'll join me, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, you are so good. You are an amazing God um, who loves us so much, and we stand in awe of your wonderful presence. Um, Lord, we recognize that we're sinners. We recognize that we fall short of um, what you have intended for us to be in all of its glory. And so we say that we're sorry, Lord, and that we're, we commit ourselves to your honor and your glory to do better. Lord, we bring to you now our petitions. We ask you, Lord, to bring healing upon our world right now um, with so many people who are suffering, so many people who are dying. And Lord, we just, we bring them to you. We ask you, Lord, to cast out all fear and anxiety, to comfort everyone in this time of uncertainty. Um, and for all the intentions and prayers of all those who are listening today and praying with us, Lord, we bring to you those intentions and we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for being with us. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for inviting us, Lord, um, in this time of struggle to seek you, to develop a, a more personal relationship with you. Um, and we ask that you grant all these things in accordance with your will through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed Sunday.